Hi, this is Mike, Falco's Flips, a part-time reseller based in Northwest England. Welcome to the video. This video is going to be a look at my best sales on the run-up to Christmas, plus a couple that I've sold into January as well. Um, it's going to be my most profitable items, uh, the higher kind of priced items, but also a few, few other bits as well that I've added in here and there. I'm also going to kind of rush past a bit the stuff that you've seen before, you, you know, the stuff that I've mentioned before in previous videos many times there's a few things like that in here so i'm going to just rush past them get to the stuff that you've not seen and uh yeah let's get on with it let's go i'm going to start with this this is a rare alien trilogy vhs case it's like a face hugger case check it out look at this like look at the detail on that it's just really cool i really really want to keep this i really want to keep it but I didn't, you know, you can't keep hold of all this stuff. Occasionally I do get fine stuff that I keep, but no, nah, I mean, I do really like the Alien Trilogy, but not enough to kind of warrant keeping it. I just wanted the case. I mean, I mean, just look at it. What can I say? Paid £8 from a charity shop, 129 99 went over to America. Um, yeah, really nice, really nice item. Next is these Maxwell and Williams tea, coffee, sugar, biscuit, and rice jars. Sixty-four ninety-nine plus postage. I paid for about ten pounds for these from a car boot sale. Uh, this brand can be quite good. I think it might be an Australian brand. These are actually been bought by somebody in Australia. So you know, all said and done, what maybe forty to forty-five profit, something like that. Not too bad. Uh, this was a load of Funko Pops, Five Nights at Freddy's, as you can see. Nice little set right here and I got 119.99 plus postage these are actually from a friend at work he wanted me to sell them so we split the profit and you know made a nice little nice little profit tell your friends tell the people you know that you resell sometimes they'll come to you want you to sell this stuff for them uh, this was a good sale got a load of these from car boot sale paid around 50p each and I sold 10 to one person for a hundred pounds. So 10 pounds a go plus postage on top. I've been selling some of the others as well. The globe ones are the most popular. The other ones, not so much, but that's fine. Cause you know, I've made my money back. Lots of profit just in the globe ones. The other ones will go as well. They'll just take a bit longer, but really happy with that. Nice sale. The person I sold them to is apparently making sculptures with them, holding them. So I'd be really interested to see actually what they look like. I'm actually going to message the customer and see if they've made them yet and maybe get them to send me a photograph. If they do, put it on the screen. Vintage Tyco Quince. I've mentioned these before. £70 plus postage. Pay £2.50 from a charity shop. Good profit on them. They're rare. I've never seen them before. Never seen them since. But the accessories can do quite well. Um, it's one of them though, you know, if you don't know what you're looking for you're probably never going to really really know you know what i mean they're just quite a generic looking thing but maybe have a look have a look on ebay type in tyco quince and uh, see what comes up uh, vintage la crusade pans 99 99 plus postage good price nice condition and you know, nice wooden handles, that's what you need to look for on the lacquer side, I find. Uh, the wooden handles are more popular. If they've got lids, great. You know, the overall condition. Um, all these factors raises the price right up and they sell for good money. I think I got these from a charity shop for about 10 quid for the two. I do you know, I, I can't remember on the on these ones. I picked up quite a lot of lacquer say all in quick succession. Kevin the Carrot got a load of these for about 50 pounds a set ish thereabout sold these for 80 quid after fees and everything i'm ending up with just under 20 quid profit is it worth it probably not uh i thought that i would maybe keep them for next year and they'd do better then um i've still got another set which i'm going to sell my kids I've got them for my kids for christmas they they don't want them so i'm going to sell them uh, this was quite a good one top trumps this was about three or four pounds from a charity shop and there's a Lewis Hamilton card in here, that one right there. Good condition, as you can see. And went for £75 plus postage. A La Crusade Volcanic Orange Roasting Dish. When I first saw this, I thought, where's the lid? 
There's no lid. Is anyone going to want it? Still La Crusade. I thought, yeah, I'll buy it for a fiver. Well, it's into it. Never came with a lid. This is how it came. Good condition. I mean, really good condition. I don't know if it had ever been used. Uh, 72 99 plus postage. And I recently saw another reseller sell the exact same one for a, a like similar price as well. So, yeah. Always look out for the La Crusade. Uh, some does better than others, the La Crusade stuff. Like, it's getting to a point now where places like TK Maxx and, and think places like that are selling some of the stuff really cheap. So, it's not all worth great money anymore. But, like, the cast iron pans pretty much across the board from what I've seen, you know, still go for really good money. Um, here's a couple of decorative wall plaques. Paid about five quid for these, 44 99 plus postage. Uh, this was a Beauty and the Beast mug, 39 99 plus postage. Paid about four or five pounds from a charity shop for this. Uh, this was good, just from a car boot sale, one of the last ones that I did. And it was just randomly on somebody's table. She has some good stuff, this person who I bought this off. She always has some good stuff. Uh, but I just saw it, thought it looked a little bit unique, then saw that it was Disney. Really nice, Look, it lights up like that. And you can kind of play it like a real guitar. You can actually get a proper tune out of it. And it went for about £80 plus postage. Well, £80 plus postage. And went over to Germany, I think, or somewhere in Western Europe. And I went and checked out the film, the Coco film on Disney+. Plus. Really good film. Go and watch it if you can. Next is this. Top Trump's Cristiano Ronaldo card was in here. Right there. Very young looking Cristiano Ronaldo, good, uh, good condition, you know, as you can see there, you know, a few little marks on the card, but good condition overall, £35 plus postage, I paid about three or four pounds for this from a charity shop. And next to these Corning casserole dishes, didn't pay a lot for these, I think I got them from a car boot sale for about eight quid, seven quid, something like that, wasn't a lot, £54.99 plus postage. Um, here we have a dinky Eagle Freighter toy. Paid 20p for this from a charity shop. Sold it for 64.99 plus postage. Uh, this is a load of uh, D'Agostini dinosaur and friend books. Uh, the books don't get, do that well really. The toys do okay, although I think the days are numbered on them. They don't do as well as they used to. I probably won't pick them up next time I see them unless they're like really, really cheap. Uh, they're basically just little toys, little dinosaur toys and certain ones just sit there forever so i mean i've got like maybe three or four sets of the same type of dinosaur that just people don't want but you make the money on the other ones and you know it's one of them maybe it's worth it maybe it's not um if you can get them cheap enough like a lot of things just about just about worth it uh, 64.99 plus postage on those books uh, this was a good one. I paid about 20p for this from a car boot sale. I sold it 54.99 plus postage. Horn C, when these vibrant colours going on like this, definitely worth checking out. You know, there's better ones than this. You know, that's a good price for it, but there are much better ones than this out there. And, uh, you know, the rarer, the better. The more vibrant the colours, the better, I guess. Uh, this was a load of pans the brand mayor i had never heard of it before but they seem to do fairly good no lids with these which definitely affected the value a little bit if they all had their lids they would have gone for maybe 20 30 quid more i reckon but i only paid five pounds for a charity shop for these thereabouts i think it was five pounds and i sold them 50 plus postage and next we have this surveillance families set with owls i got this as part of a big bundle from a car boot sale uh, fairly recently, it was one of the last ones that I did at the end of last year, and I nearly didn't buy these. I walked away, then I came back, and I bought them. Really glad I did, because there was some good stuff in there. A load of accessories, a load of figures. Yeah, this was good, because it had its box, original box, and yeah, really good condition. £50, plus postage. I think I paid about 20 quid for the lot, and I've got a lot more than this. Um, I got it, like the gun, the, the bottle gun that I got, that was from the same seller as this. And um, there was also a first edition of the Civilian Families magazine, um, like a Marvel magazine, 
that they made. I don't know if there's that much money in it. I can't find anybody else selling issue one. Um, but I've got it in excellent condition, like really, really good condition. So I'm asking a lot for it. What the hell? People will buy it or they won't, whatever. I thought I would aim high, see what happens. Maybe somebody out there will buy it. Somebody sends me like a cheeky offer of quarter of the price, I will probably just take it. And this was a load of ceramic houses. These are the ones where you kind of like, I think you kind of like put them on your tree and then stick the lights kind of through them. And uh, I paid five pounds for the lot. They're in a charity shop all set out for a fiver. And I was like, how are they only a fiver? I will be buying them, bought them, lots of interest, sold them a few weeks before Christmas. And next is this Buddy L Street van made in Hong Kong. This was part of a like small bundle of cars that I got at some point during like a lockdown or after a lockdown or something. I can't really remember, but I got a load. I went for one and I ended up buying about four or five of them. Most of them sold pretty quickly. This one's hung around because of the condition of the box. I mean, look at that. And also like one side is like sun damaged, as you can see right there. But still went for 50 quid plus postage in the end. Took a long time, but we got there in the end. I only paid about eight or 10 quid for this. Wasn't a lot. And this is a SanDisk digital audio player. It's just, I don't know why people buy these. I mean, it's only 256 megabytes. You know, you can go to Argos and, and get a better branded one for, you know, with a gig on it for 15 quid. So do people buy this stuff as like a collectible thing or do they just, is it the one they had when they were younger or something like that? Because this is a kind of an older one, I think. Um, is that what it is? Not really sure. But 30 quid plus postage is what I got. That's the second time that sold. The first time they returned it saying it's just not what they wanted. So uh, second time and 30 quid. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, this was a jigsaw puzzle. There we go, that's it. And as you can see, the cellophane was ripped and it was also like broken. Well, the box was like literally had a hole in it down there. Um, but it still went for £28 plus postage and it's a pretty good one. Uh, these old Ravensburger, I, I am finding that it's the Ravensburger ones more than anything else that hold the most value. That's not to say that others are not good as well, but I'm finding like the Ravensburger ones that are more than 20 years old, some of them brand new sealed. They've got to be kind of brand new sealed really. That's, I'm sure there's money in others as well. But I just stick to the brand new sealed ones. Even with the boxes like this, I'll still pick it up because people still want it. This was, I think, maybe a pound from a car boot. I can't, I can't really remember where I got this one from. But I'm pretty sure it was like a pound or two. It wasn't a lot. Uh, this is pretty good. Look out for these. This is the brand right there. Brito. Disney Brito. Uh, I could have got more for this one. Couldn't find it out there. So I just kind of made up a price. 30 quid, sold really quickly. I think I could have got a bit more for that. But I only paid a pound, so can't complain. This was kind of good. Garfield soap dish, or is it an ashtray? I'm not really sure. Sold it for 20 pounds plus postage. Um, so not one of my kind of highest sales, but I thought it was a little bit unusual. Um, and just to kind of highlight Garfield stuff, some Garfield stuff can do really well, some of it, and then I find most of it actually really doesn't, really doesn't. I'm guessing they've mass produced everything. Um, and I don't find much Garfield stuff that is worth money. I find a lot of Garfield stuff everywhere. Not much of it from what I've found over the years is worth that much. I'm sure there's exceptions as there is with everything. And next is this D for Sega Saturn. Uh, 47 99 plus postage. I got this for practically nothing from a charity shop, part of a little bundle of Sega Saturn, Sega Saturn stuff. They were, all the discs were kind of a bit scratched, but I tested them all out. Uh, the Sega Saturn didn't have any wires. I had to buy the wires and everything. Um, but yeah, good, good money on that. And next was all these teapots. These were free. I went to pick up a load of crockery and stuff from somebody. They said, do you want these teapots? I was like, kind of not really. But they were like, just take them. Please take them. Um, 
So I took them all. They sat there for ages. I've been, I, in the end, I had them up at like three pounds each. People are still not interested. But then somebody came along and said, I'll have, I'll buy 20 from you. And I was like, yeah. Just gave me a, really, a good, you know, pretty good price. Uh, two pounds a teapot. And yeah, he bought 20 of them for 40 pounds plus postage. And next is this. This was from Car Beach Sale. Two or three pounds is what I paid for it. And I sold it for 40 pounds plus postage. These can do quite well, this kind of style right here. And this wasn't perfect. Look, it had like little marks in it like that. But it still went. Quite a lot of interest in it. 40 pounds plus postage. And this was a fairly recent one, Yamaha. It actually has a floppy disk drive in it and got £140 plus postage. I paid £20 for it from a charity shop. And this was actually passed down to me and I got 40 quid plus postage, which was a surprise to me. Don't know how, you know, don't know why these are worth so much money sometimes, but they are. It's Leonardo brand right there. Leonardo collection. Don't just go buy any of them because a lot of them are not worth anything, but some of them are. Uh, this is a bread bin, run of the mill, black. Yeah, not much to say about this one. Didn't pay a lot for it. Four or five quid, something like that from a charity shop. Sold it for £40 plus postage. And next is this mask. Quite a unique kind of Chinese dragon mask. Original price tag there, $36. And I got £40 plus postage on it. Now this was quite good, Lego alarm clock. This is quite a rare one. Never seen this before, never seen it since. Uh, paid up a little bit for it, seven or eight quid in the charity shop. But I managed to get £40 plus postage. Uh, next we have these soup bowls, La Crusade, good brand. Got them from a car boot sale a few months back. I got them from the, the one where I did three different car boot sales over three days over a bank holiday weekend. I got these on, I think, the first day that I did. And yeah, uh, I got these and I got some red ones, kind of divided them up and paid five pounds, I think, for the lot. So 35 pounds for these plus postage, that's pretty good. Next is this talking peanut dispenser. This was like a rare thing from the US originally and like kind of late 90s i think thereabouts and good condition a bit rough around the edges but i got 38 pounds plus postage i paid about six pounds for this from a charity shop um here we have a black ashwood effect cd storage case holds 80. you got these ones you got the ones that are a bit smaller they all seem to sell they don't sell for a you know crazy amount this is kind of high end here 34.99 plus postage um, if they're in good condition, they'll sell. Uh, they're bulky, you know, it takes a bit of room to store them and stuff, but they're just about worth it. They're kind of a bread and butter thing when I can find them. Uh, this is an Atomic Pinball game from Tomy. Uh, this is like, I don't think this is as old as some of them. There's older ones out there that are worth a little bit more. I think this is like a 90s one and yeah, fully working, nice little item, £35 plus postage. I paid about four or five pounds for this from a charity shop. Uh, this was a pound from a charity shop. This was from that big bundle I got, and it sold on a 15% sale for £38.24 plus postage. Not too bad of a profit there. What we're we talking, probably 30, 32 quid profit, something like that. Uh, these were from like the beginning of the car boot season, like good few months back. They sat for ages. I thought these would sell pretty quickly. I thought the design on them was quite nice. But I guess I held, up, held out on the price a little bit. $39.99 plus postage is what I got. And uh, I paid about 8 to 10 quid for them. So not too bad. Uh, this Blankety Blank game, I paid a pound for this from the tip shop. This was almost complete. I think there was a little part missing, but good condition. These sell really well. These old kind of MB games, some of them can do particularly well. This is one of them, £35 plus postage. Uh, this is a fairly recent one. 
I got a load of these, box and a half full of brand new Corona Extra glasses for a pound each. And I didn't sell them for this price. This is coming up like this because I've still, still sell them, I guess. Uh, but I actually sold them for about £28 plus postage. So, you know, £6 into them, £28 fees, you know, 18 quid profit, something like that. I'll take that. That'll do. Uh, this was somebody who bought these, but they also bought three of the Christmas tree uh, plates that I've got. The Leonardo collection ones, the ones I've nearly sold out of now. Uh, three of them, a, another Tupperware item, and then these two, she bought them all together. I think she paid about £70 all in. And I think I gave her a bit of money back for the postage. But that was a good sale. Nice when people, you know, come and buy lots of different things doesn't happen that often with me at all people don't tend to do that very often uh, but glad she did uh, this is a made in england jar vintage uh, these like lava glaze jars like this i find are usually made in germany this one though made in england 30 pounds plus postage uh, this is a Hornby like model train, little uh, engine shed, $37.99 plus postage. I just want to quickly mention that these prices sometimes are not always accurate. Do you know, it says like sold for. Um, I've noticed sometimes that they're not the correct price. So I don't know what it is. I don't know if it comes up. If I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. But sometimes the prices are not quite right on some of the things so i just wanted to mention that uh, maybe somebody could answer that is there a reason why that happens when you're looking back at the stuff you've sold how i'm doing it is there a reason why the prices would be different on here this page to you know other parts on ebay when you're looking at it i i just don't know don't know what it is let me know if you know um, here we have a Coca-Cola Sunday glass set. Uh, this was quite good. This was about four pounds from the car boot sale. Really like this. Thought it'd go for a bit more than this, to be honest. But you know, twenty-eight quid plus postage, we will have that. And next is this. This was a Elvis Presley CD set. It's got the little uh, fold-out a house here that looks like it's all lit up. Little cardboard fold-out. I kind of wanted to keep this just for that, even though I, you know, don't particularly like Elvis Presley. I just thought it looked really cool. It was two pounds fifty from a car boot sale, and uh, yeah, surprised that I managed to get thirty-five pounds plus postage. Another model plane here. This was a quite a good one, thirty-five pounds plus postage on that. Paid a pound for that one as well. Uh, these were from the first ever Jumble Sale Trail video that I did. I paid about was it eight to ten pounds for these. I think got Spyro the Dragon. I remember from the same guy for a couple of quid. That sold really well. Um, and then there were these as well. Really good condition. Really nice. And they went for as I say thirty five pounds. Uh, free post? Did I do free postage on them? I might have done. I don't usually do free postage. Maybe there was a lot of competition. Uh, free postage. But either way, good little profit. Uh, this was from a car. No, charity shop, I think, for two or three pounds. Brand new sealed Christmas Ravensburger puzzle. Actually, no. No, no, no. This one. This one I bought last year. And it disappeared, like, off the listing. So... I relisted it just before Christmas and it sold like immediately. Um, that was it. I actually had a couple. I had this one. I had one that wasn't really worth that much. Neither of them were listed. That I definitely listed them originally. Um, but at some point during the year, they have unlisted themselves. Uh, but yeah. 30 quid plus postage. Uh, this was, these, these were mine when I was a kid. And kept them for years. They're at my dad's house. We had a bit of a clear out around my dad's and got a few things to sell. Uh, took these, kept hold of them for a little bit, and I thought, there's no point in me keeping them. Listed them quite high. 
sold them for 30 quid in the end. And uh, yeah, I think they went over to America or somewhere abroad anyway. Uh, these trolls, got a load of trolls, they're really cheap from a car boot sale. Um, yeah, pence probably into these and 26 pounds plus postage is what I got. Some of the trolls can do well, some not so much. Still got quite a few listed. And next is these, Blazing the Monster Machine. Some of these cars can do really well. Not so much these ones, to be honest, these particular ones. If you get a nice little bundle and certain individual ones, most of the die-cast ones, because these are not the die-cast ones, apart from that one there. These other ones, not really worth too much. Uh, but if you get a little bundle of them, certain characters can do quite well. Next is these. I think I got these from a charity shop, but I cannot remember which one or when I even bought them. I really just can't remember. Don't know. Don't know. Um, I can't imagine I would have paid a lot for them. And anyway, I sold them for £22 plus postage. And next is these. These are vintage TG Green steak plates. I got a load of stuff. I think they had bought them all or like bought a pub out, something like that, or bought a load of you know, old stock from a pub. Um, I bought them. I bought them from them for like twenty quid or something for loads of them. And Facebook Marketplace sometimes can be really good. Uh, these have taken a long time. Not gonna lie, they've taken like so. It's been about two years now, I think, since I first picked them up. But I've sold the vast majority of the stuff that I got. I made profit like the first one or two sets that I sold. So yeah, I can't. Can't complain at all. These were actually a little bit damaged as well, these ones, but I still managed to get 20 quid for them, plus postage. Uh, this was something I picked up quite recently from a charity shop, it made a video, and Christmas Snow Globe, sold it for 20 pounds, plus postage. P&O Ferries, like 125 years of P&O. Uh, this is a Skylanders Trap Team Night Light figure. Got 1650 plus postage on that. That was the most expensive one out of all the ones that I got. And the last thing, one of my favorite pickups of the whole of last year is this. And it's a vintage BBC Chronicles of Narnia chess set. It's the one that's based on the BBC adaptation, not the more modern films. As you can see right there, really nice set. I got the like the board from a tip shop, the tip shop down the way for a couple of quid. It's kind of damaged on the corners a little bit. And I got the uh, all the characters without the board, all the figures with no board from a charity shop. Um, I paid 50 quid for the figures. I paid two or three pounds for the board, stuck them together. And in the end I got 175 plus posters. He did actually buy that, buy him for that, and then he was like, hang on, you sent me a £175 offer, so I refunded him back 25 quid. So that's why it says that. But yeah, really nice set, one of my favourite pickups of the whole of last year. Um, you yeah, know, not the most profitable after you've taken off the initial buy cost and the fees and everything, but I still made over £100 or around £100 on the set, and I just really enjoyed having it for a little bit of time. I would have liked to have kept it Another thing I would have liked to have kept, but you can't keep everything. You gotta let this stuff go. It's nice to just keep hold of the stuff for a little bit of time before you kind of let it go to somebody else. I don't think I ever mentioned, but the person who bought these um, said that he was considering giving them to the uh, somewhere in Oxford University where I think uh, C.S. Lewis actually had he, had he had something to do with it? Did he go to Oxford University? Um, or did he, he had some kind of link to Oxford University, I believe, and he was going to potentially donate this set to them uh, to have in the, like, their library, I think, or something like that, so a room that they got there. Um, so that's really interesting. I wonder if he did that. Um, so there you go. That's, that's, uh, that's the lot. That's everything I've got to show you. Um, some good sales, some good ones in there. Um, you know, my average sale price is probably maybe only 20, 30 quid. So I do a lot of them. So a lot of that kind of stuff I've not really shown you here. Um, you know, there's a lot of 
lower value items, but a lot of them. Um, so, I don't know, let me know if you want to see more of the like run of the mill kind of stuff that's in the background that sells, you know, the lower value stuff, but the stuff that sells maybe a bit more often. Um, lesser profits, but you know, it all counts. Let me know if you want to see a video about that stuff. So that's it. Thank you very much for joining me. I know a lot of people like these videos. That's why I thought I would do it. I've had a few people ask for a video like this. So if people keep asking for it, I will keep doing it. If you don't like this kind of video, just let me know. That's fine. I'm going to do the kind of videos that you guys want to see. If you want to see more like this, I will keep doing more like this. If you don't, then I won't. So thank you for watching. Please hit that like button if you could. It really does help out. It makes the videos more visible to more people. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.